Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 517. Are DSLR cameras dead? I mean, no, I don't think they're dead. I still shoot with my Nikon D750, but I got this question yesterday and I thought it was very interesting because many of you might have the same thoughts. So allow me to read this question. She said, what are your thoughts about DSLRs and mirrorless cameras? It feels that in five years or more, much will change. Um, I think it will change much faster than five years. I have two D750s that I love. I also have expensive glass to use with it. I'm just afraid that in the future, near future, all the glass I have will be useless with mirrorless. As far as I know, I cannot use my glass with a mirrorless camera, meaning I will have to upgrade everything when the time comes. Should DSLR users be apprehensive about this issue? Will DSLR cameras be a thing of the past in the near future? Okay, first of all, all of your glass will work with mirrorless cameras. So you have the Nikon D750. Nikon released the Z6 and Z7 mirrorless with an adapter so that you can use all of your native lenses. They had to, and the reason is not only because people are invested in this glass, but because they only released a few native lenses when they manufactured these new cameras. And there's no way that they could put two new cameras on the market with only a couple of lenses to use with them. That just wouldn't fly in the photography community. In fact, there would probably be an uprising. So you can absolutely use all of your glass. I mean, think of this. Nikon didn't release a 70 to 200 in their first iteration in their lens lineup with the mirrorless cameras. Well, I have to have a 70 to 200, but I can still use mine. I just have the adapter. It's the F to Z adapter. It comes in a couple of the kits or you can buy it separately. But if you have been in photography and you have Nikon or Canon for that matter, then having that adapter is obviously a must have so that you can use the lenses that you currently own. Canon is the same way. The Canon EOS R is their mirrorless camera and there's an adapter so that you can use all of your Canon lenses. Do I have that right? I don't, I don't know what their mount looks like. I'm not as familiar with the Canon mount, so forgive me if I misspoke. I'm not as familiar with the Canon mount as I am with the Nikon mount, but Nikon does make an adapter. So no, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, so that should hopefully alleviate some of those fears. The glass that you own will work with the mirrorless cameras. Okay, but to answer the other question, you said, what are my thoughts about DSLRs and mirrorless cameras? It feels like that in five years, a lot will change. Well, I think it's happening much faster than that. So I have my Nikon D750 that I love and use. In fact, I shot a wedding a couple of weeks ago and I shot it with my D750. Now, the reason I did not use my Fuji X-T3 mirrorless is because I don't currently have all of the lenses I need for the Fuji system. And the other photographer that I was photographing with uses a Nikon D750. So it just made sense for both of us to shoot with the same camera. Once I have the lenses I need for this system, I don't, I don't see why I would take my D750 to a wedding. I'm gonna take my Fuji. I just don't see any downsides to the mirrorless cameras. Therefore, when a new photographer comes to me and says, whether they're hobbyist or aspiring, pro aspiring professional, excuse me, and they say, hey, I need to get a camera, what is your recommendation? I just don't think I'm gonna send them to a DSLR. I think I'm going to, if somebody asked me that today, what would I say? Good question. I think I would ask what they like to photograph, do they, do they want to become a professional or do they just want to take photos for themselves? What is their budget? Obviously budget is an issue. I would say buy as much camera as you can afford, but I would probably suggest a mirrorless system and it would be either the Nikon, Canon, Sony, or Fuji. Any one of those mirrorless systems, I personally think they are amazing and I love them all. I chose Fuji because I like Fuji. I mean, it was, it was more of an aesthetics issue for me. No, that's not, that's not correct. Aesthetics is not correct. It's functionality in terms, although I do like the way it looks, in terms of the dials. I like these physical dials to change all of my settings. I like to be able to see my aperture, my ISO and my shutter speed right here physically on these dials versus a menu system. So I enjoy Fuji for that reason. Although that Sony looks really nice. Hey, listen, Panasonic makes a decent camera, a really nice camera. So again, it depends on your budget, but 
I would probably refer people to a mirrorless camera. Okay, but for those of us that are invested in DSLRs, do you need to switch? No, you don't need to do anything. If your camera gear is working for you, then that's fantastic. I would keep using it. When it comes time for an upgrade, so for instance, let me back up and say this. I shot a pair of Nikon D700s for almost a decade, and I would still pick up those cameras. I still own them. I would pick one of those up and shoot with it because it's an amazing camera. So I think many of these cameras have longevity and you can still use them. But if it gets to a point with say my D750 where I just don't feel like it's performing well and it's time to upgrade or add to my Fuji system, I personally at this point, oh, I gotta think this through you guys. This is a bold statement. I don't plan on buying another DSLR. I plan on investing more in my Fuji system and I could, I could long-term see myself purchasing an, another system. I could see using, God, I like that Canon, I gotta tell you. Canon or Nikon, I think Sony's amazing. It just doesn't, something about it doesn't fit with me, but people love it. I have this, the Fuji X-T3 with the interchangeable lenses. I have the Fuji X100F that I take on vacation. It does not have interchangeable lenses. It's a fixed 35 millimeter equivalent, 23 on a cropped, and I love it. I love these cameras. They're lightweight, they work really well. They don't suffer from the same focusing issues that a DSLR does in terms of calibration. Um, Connie says, I just got the D750. I will have it for a long time. I love it. Absolutely. I love my D750 as well. And if I'm shooting personally, or maybe I'm teaching or a hosting camera club, I still will interchange my D750 and my Fuji X-T3. I'll still shoot with both of them. I think they definitely have longevity. What I'm talking about here is if and when the time comes when you need to upgrade. Personally for me, I just don't see myself buying another DSLR. I think that ultimately, listen, I'm no, I'm no photography prophet over here, but I think that ultimately it'll all go to mirrorless. You know what would be so interesting, you guys? I would love if I could be on the inside of like Canon or Nikon in their R&D department. What I'd love to see is their budget. Where are they putting their money for research and development? I would, I would love to know the percentage, the split between their R&D for mirrorless versus their R&D for DSLRs. Wouldn't that be interesting to see where they're headed? Because I mean, honestly, they dictate the industry. But okay, let's back up and think about when we switched from film to digital. I purchased my first digital camera in 1999. I'm pretty sure it was one megapixel, maybe a little more. It was a Sony Mavica and it took a floppy disk. At that time, the consumer digital cameras were terrible <laughs> and film was still way better. But over the next year or two, I mean, by 2002, maybe 2003, I had a Canon 10D, which was my first DSLR. And at that point, photographers were using DSLRs in their business. So a lot of film photographers had switched. Some had not, some failed to adapt, some went out of business because they didn't want to. I mean, if you remember that time, you guys, it was a huge deal. It was an uprising. There was a lot of conflict in the industry about where it was going. Would it eventually all go to digital? Would film be dead? How long would film be around? When would digital take over? When would it be affordable enough? Because remember the first digital DSLR was I want to say around $20,000 or more, the very first one. So it was cost prohibitive for a lot of people to get into it, but it's not like that anymore. And the mirrorless cameras are evolving really quickly. So a couple of years ago, I still would have preferred my DSLR, but now with the, the improvements specifically on the electronic viewfinder, the EVF versus the optical viewfinder, I mean, it's just amazing how far they've come. The sensors are phenomenal, the glass is amazing, and we don't have these focusing issues. It's lightweight. I love it. I'm all about the mirrorless. Do you have any questions? Um, Becky says, my son wants a camera. I keep telling him to look at mirrorless. Absolutely, because that is probably where it is going. Again, I am no profit in the industry, but I, I struggle to see anything wrong or bad with the mirrorless cameras. That is, I haven't found a downside. 
So um, I think that speaks volumes and that I really do not plan on purchasing another DSLR. In fact, currently, none of them appeal to me on the market. The cameras that I'm like, you know, if I had limitless funds and could just have all of the cameras, <laughs> I would have I would have those Nikon mirrorless, I would have a Canon mirrorless, I'd have a Sony a lens to play around with. That's where my interest is because I believe that that's where the industry is headed. If you have any questions on this topic, please leave a comment and let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. And if I don't have the answer, I'll consult the experts at YM Camera because they deal a lot with the reps from these companies. They know a lot more than I do. But if you have someone in your life or you are the person that is looking for a new camera and you have not purchased one yet, I'm going to have to say you should probably look at mirrorless. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.